old anymore. That's the sort of uh, behaviour I'd expect from my daughters when they were 11. But look, uh, it's for him to choose how he decides to treat. I think there are serious issues that uh, we want to raise with the president of the USA. Yes, of course. They're our closest allies. We have a special relationship with them. I compare it to having a best friend. Our expectations of our best friend are much higher than they are of an acquaintance or just a, a friend. And if we've got differences, we should be able to express them honestly and candidly. And my frustration with our Prime Minister and our government is this uh, weakness and inability to share some of the concerns we've got with Donald Trump. If they are playground antics, as you say, why do you, um, why do you engage with him? Well, look, this all began, and you'll remember this, uh, this all began when Donald Trump was running to be the president. And he said uh, he wanted to ban Muslims from entering into the USA. But I make an exception for the Muslim mayor of London, Sadiq Khan. And the point I made, and I did it in a courteous manner, is look, there's nothing exceptional about me. Don't make an exception for me. I think your ban is a bad idea. There are lots of Muslims, not just in America, who love being American and are proud to be Muslims, but around the world who love America. And actually, you're playing to the hands of those extremists who say Islam and the West are incompatible. And that led to um, him going off on Twitter uh, rants and saying beastly things about me. The point I was trying to make in advance of his trip is we have an opportunity to influence our closest ally on some of the things we disagree with him about. Let me just give you some examples, if I may. We disagree with him surely about his uh, policy to ban Muslims from certain countries. Surely we disagree with his policy to separate children from their parents on the Mexican border. Surely we think it's wrong when he amplifies the tweets from racists in this country. And surely we should be saying, listen, you know, you do realise you're a poster boy for the far-right movement around the world, from Hungary to Italy, France to the UK. And also we should be saying, you know what, we think we face a climate emergency. We think you made a mistake walking away from the Paris climate change accord. Will you think about coming back? Can we persuade you to come back? And I could go on. And my point is, Theresa May is so weak as a prime minister and our government is so scared that it wouldn't say boo to a goose. And I think that's wrong. Our values uh, aren't reflected by this prime minister. We should be saying that to him. But we need, or some would say, that you need him to be on side, especially after Brexit. So why don't you bury the hatchet? Why are you still embarking in, um, you know, chewing and throwing with him on Twitter? And why weren't you at the state banquet last night? Well, I'm very happy to meet with Donald Trump. I've always said it's right and proper for there to be a good working relationship between our country and the USA. He should come here, not at a state visit. And there shouldn't be a state banquet. And there shouldn't be the rolling out of the uh, red carpet. That's an honour bestowed on very few presidents. Only two, I think, have had that honour bestowed upon them. And I think the, the point I've made no, since he was first right. elected, no. of course, Clinton, Clinton, of course, have a good relationship. Bush and uh, Obama of, of late. Well, so there's that's well, the, three the, I can think of straight the, off the, the top the, of my head. Well, the, the two of Bush and Obama, actually, Clinton didn't have a state visit, but that's, that's a by the by. The point being is he's been president for two years. And yes, of course, he should be here commemorating the D-Day uh, 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 75 years ago with the, the Canadians are here, New Zealand's here, Australia's here. Of course, we should commemorate uh, the D-Day landings. One of the things those brave men and women fought for is for us to have religious freedoms. They fought for equality. Look, I can't be silent when there's a rolling back of women's reproductive rights in America. I can't be silent when LGBT plus rights are being rolled back in America. I can't be silent when the president of the free world is defending white supremacists, neo-Nazis and anti-Semites in Charlottesville. I just can't be silent when he amplifies the tweets of racists in this country. I mean, and I'm embarrassed that our Prime Minister isn't willing to say boo to a goose. So the thing to do is engage rather than snub. And I'm very happy to. I'm very happy to engage. Look, I've offered to meet with Donald Trump, to take him around our wonderful city, to show him the strengths of diversity. Uh, I'm celebrating Eid today. Uh, to show him uh, the Mosque of London, where there are proud Londoners, proud Brits, but also comfortable with being a Muslim uh, as well. I've just come from the Migration Museum in South London, where you can see the benefits to our city and our country of migration, economically, socially and, and culturally. And by the way, America's also benefited from migration as well. Really happy to meet with uh, Donald Trump. I I've not resorted to silly name-calling or using Twitter in that manner. And by the way, if the president of the USA 
gets wound up by the mayor of London. God only knows what will happen if the leader of North Korea or Iran try and, try and wind up, and I've not tried to do that. But you know that he loves the pomp and circumstance. We all know that. You know, he likes having his ego massage. No better way than to offer him a state visit so that he can have face time with Her Majesty, perhaps even fist bumping. We're not sure whether he did that or not. That's open to speculation. But if that means we get a good trade deal, surely you just need to hold your nose and let it happen. Can I just tell you this, that there are people in Hungary, Italy, France, in this country as well, who a few years ago their views were on the fringe. They were far-right extremists. Their views are now mainstream and they've been normalised because of Donald Trump. Donald Trump is the poster boy for the far-right uh, movement and that's given him even more credibility, I think, is a mistake. I think in years to come, by the way, uh, we're going to regret uh, giving this state visit to uh, Donald Trump. And what sort of message does it send to friends uh, in Hungary, in Italy, in France and elsewhere and all around the Western world where they've seen a rise of nativist populist movements and Donald Trump is seen as the leader of this far-right movement. His former campaign manager is going around the world teaching extremist movements how to become normalised and mainstream. Are we really going to stay silent about this? Uh, but, but, Mr Mayor, if I may, your responsibility is to the people of London, and that includes the business uh, leaders of London, and they need a good deal with the United States when we pull out a Brexit. And so, as a result, we need to roll out the red carpet, not only here in Downing Street, but also uh, over at Buckingham Palace for the President of the United States, if that's what it takes. Well, let me tell you, I talk on a daily basis to Americans, businesses, tourists, students who come to our city and enrich our city. There's wonderful businesses in London which are American businesses and similarly wonderful Londoners who go to America and contribute to America as well. Of course we're in a good trade deal with uh, America. We've got a pretty good deal now as, as members of the European Union. All I'd say respectfully to our government is uh, be, be, be very careful accepting the advice from this president to walk away from the EU without a deal, expecting a fantastic trade deal with the uh, USA. We heard this Sunday from the ambassador, you referred to him. He was talking this Sunday about the sort of trade deal the Americans want is US private firms running the NHS. The sort of trade deal America wants is their chicken and their beef being accessible in our country when we know the standards are very different to uh, America, to what they are to in our country. So a good deal for America is not necessarily a good deal for us, but I'd be very, I'd, I'd, advise, I'd advise caution expecting a good deal with uh, America on the basis of what Donald Trump said yesterday. Final question to you, Mr. Mayor, if I may. You talk about Mr. Trump being petty. Why have you allowed them to fly that baby blimp? You know it's offensive and it's going to upset him. Well, the key thing in relation to any blimp, by the way, there's been a blimp flown about me, uh, flown of me as well, is that, look, it's got to be peaceful, it's got to be safe and it's got to be uh, lawful. One of the great things about our country is the rights we have in relation to freedom of expression, the right to protest, but it's got to be safe, peaceful and uh, lawful. I can't be a censor to decide what is, what is tasteful and what is not. I grew up watching Spit and Image where we saw politicians, really respected politicians, having fun made about them. Look, there was a, a blimp of me wearing a yellow bikini. My only criticism was uh, red's my colour, not yellow.